been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first, it was just weird stories on the news. Random mauling, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky, just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are... zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home. Lock our doors and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear. So, how'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Better deal with this first. Where were we? Dude, it's her dad. You want to confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. I see something. Looks like an infestation. these strangers I'm good you made it that one doesn't look so good name's Ed pleased to meet you come with me son we'll see to those god words. damn it we got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine real nice Alan I offered them shelter I'm letting them in us freeloaders have to stick together girls got the common sense God gave a tree stump you're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but, well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though, rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. 
I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Hey, thanks. I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily, he's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look, we're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? Yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Here. I'm confused. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. Thank you. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. I need a breather.
How did you all end up at the church anyways? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll see you soon. Okay, I'm free and clear. See you soon. I hope you brought me something pretty. I'll show you when I get there. It's reckless is all I'm saying. Runs in the family. Jacob and Thomas are both AWOL. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Those two are gonna get themselves killed one of these days. Jake wouldn't be much of a loss, but Thomas is pretty good with that revolver. You're a cold-hearted son of a bitch, you know that? Holding hands and singing kumbaya isn't gonna keep us alive. Folks around here ought to remember that. So, I've been thinking about a lot of stuff lately, and something occurred to me. We don't know squat. I'm confused. I mean, when it comes to long-term survival. Like, I've got my dad's old notebooks, and I'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm. But if we had reference material, we could do a whole lot more. Go on. Well, since we don't have the internet anymore, I'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library. Books on gardening, electrical engineering, carpentry, anything we can get our hands on. We gotta start somewhere, right? I 
think I can get a decent view from up there. I need a breather. Made it. Gonna look around now. There we go. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Hey, what's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people, and it looks like no one's broken in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. Somebody's broadcasting something. Seems like you folks know what you're doing. What would you say to us joining forces? You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and... Not right now. about kicking you and Ed out. Point. I think I've got something for you. You'll find it on your map. Scratch that off the wish list. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. Do me a favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Zeds like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep them running. So we gotta be careful about when we use them.
Something's still moving around in here. We just wrapped up a construction project. I don't have enough space for this. home. I hope you brought me something pretty. I'll show you when I get there. I found this while I was out. Sweet. Scratch that off the wish list. I suppose you've decided whether or not we can join you? <laughs> 